the 512 ants on Sullivan Street by Carol A. Losey, illustrated by Patrick Merrill, read to you by Math Stervakis. This is the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. This is one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. These are two ants with some pieces of plum. They followed one ant who carried a crumb. A crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. There go four ants with a barbecue chip. They held it above them so they wouldn't trip. They trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum who followed one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Here come eight ants with a crisp bacon strip. They chased the four ants with a barbecue chip who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum who followed one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Now sixteen ants took a hard-boiled egg. They rolled it along with a kick from each leg. They followed eight ants with a crisp bacon strip who chased the four ants with a barbecue chip who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum who followed one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Kids, are you noticing a pattern in the number of ants? Let's continue. Then thirty-two ants hauled a wing and a leg. They trailed sixteen ants with a hard-boiled egg. Who followed eight ants with a crisp bacon strip. Who chased the four ants with a barbecue chip. Who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum. Who followed one ant who carried a crumb. A crumb from the basket with goodies to eat. That we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Kids, how many ants do you think are going to show up now? Let's find out. These 64 ants spied some takeout Chinese. They carried the white paper carton with ease. They chased the 32 with a wing and a leg, who trailed the 16 with a hard-boiled egg, who followed the 8 with a crisp bacon strip who chased the four ants with a barbecue chip, who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum, who followed one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Now 128 ants grabbed some cheese and trailed the 64 with the takeout Chinese who chased the 32 with a wing and a leg, who trailed the 16 with a hard-boiled egg, who followed eight ants with a crisp bacon strip, who chased the four ants with a barbecue chip, who trailed the two ants with some pieces of plum, who followed one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. Kids, how many ants do you think are going to show up now? Is there a pattern? Let's find out. Then 256 ants yelled, Hooray! They spotted a fudge-covered cake on a tray. They pulled it and pushed it, but all of that fudge made the cake much too heavy. It just wouldn't budge. Taking the cake was such a big chore that those 256 doubled once more. Kids, if we double 256 ants, how many ants are we going to have now? Let's find out. Then 512 ants, all ready to dine, picked up the cake and got right in line. They followed the 128 ants with some cheese, 
who trailed 64 ants with takeout Chinese, who chased 32 ants with a wing and a leg, who trailed 16 ants with a hard-boiled egg, who followed 8 ants with a crisp bacon strip, who chased 4 ants with a barbecue chip, who trailed 2 ants with some pieces of plum, who followed one ant who carried a crumb, a crumb from the basket with goodies to eat that we packed for a picnic on Sullivan Street. By the time we were hungry and ready for lunch, our goodies were gone. There was nothing to munch. But the ants had a picnic with goodies to eat down in their ant hole on Sullivan Street. Kids, I have two questions for you. The first one is, did you notice a pattern in the number of ants that kept showing up? And the second question is, by the end of the story, how many total ants were there? I wonder what you would have to do to solve that problem. Good luck, kids. Be aware, math is everywhere. If you'd like to buy this book, The 512 Ants on Sullivan Street, the publisher is Scholastic.